You making your New Year's resolutions yet? How's about going green in 2022? And there are some simple changes that you can make to have a positive impact on the environment and your own neighborhood. And joining us now to talk about some of them is Sarah Alessio Shea with the Pennsylvania Resources Council. Sarah, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> of course. So look, I'm thinking about adopting a greener lifestyle in 2022. What are these resolutions that I should be thinking about? Okay, so these are really easy things I think that you can start doing. They're just simple steps, but they make a big impact. Um, and so if you, you know, can start doing one in January and then do another in, you know, February and keep adding them, um, you're really going to end the year uh, being a lot more environmentally friendly for sure. Okay, so uh, we're talking about maybe glass recycling, right? Why is that especially important? So glass is one of the most recyclable items, uh, pretty much. You could put it in your recycling bin and within 30 days it can be back on the shelf as a new item. Um, however, a lot of municipalities no longer accept glass in the curbside bin. So you kind of have to take an extra step. You have to separate it out and you have to take it to a drop off. There are a number of municipalities that have drop offs. There is a number of places that, you know, Michael Brothers, uh, North and South Hills that have drop offs. So we just ask people, make that extra step. If you have champagne, you know, New Year's Eve, save that bottle, you know, stash it away, and then keep that trip to the recycling bin in your area. Um, and it, it just really makes a huge impact. And it's something really small. So look, thinking about like a rain barrel or something, maybe that might be an option for people. How would you set one of those things up? So uh, our organization, the Pennsylvania Resources Council, we hold we're in person workshops now, webinars mostly, um, where we teach people about watershed awareness, but also installing a rain barrel. Um, adding a rain barrel to the side of your house, it collects rainwater, it collects on your roof, pretty much into a giant barrel. <laughs> and you can use that. Oh, there's a picture of it. Oh, that's it. Uh, okay. You can use that to, you know, water your garden and water your grass. And I think the really good thing about it is uh, you're keeping a lot of, when there's lots of heavy rains, you're keeping that water from rushing into the uh, sewer system. Okay, look, I'm just moving right on down the list. I feel like we're gonna get through everything green. I wanna talk about composting. It's an overwhelming thing for a lot of people. What do we need to know? Well, I just saw a picture of uh, one of PRC staffers standing next to a compost bin that we provide. It's actually a lot easier than people think. If you get a bin and you have a backyard, all you really need to learn is the very few simple things that you put in it, like banana pills and apple cores and all that. Mix that in with some grass or straw and you pretty much can compost. Uh, it's really simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. Um, and we do do online workshops for people if they want to learn how to compost and receive a compost bin at the end of the workshop, which is great. You know, Sarah, I think this is a really green show. Am I right, Tori, producer? Is this a green show? Like, we had a conversation, I think it was last week, about worm composting. I don't know if you do ah. Right? So, like, we know stuff around here a little bit. I don't know. We're, we're green. That's even more intense, too. <laughs> yeah. You don't mind a, big, a box of worms in your house? Then you're... <laughs> right, exactly. Look, we're running out of time. I do want to ask you about a zero waste lunch. That's the one thing that I have left that I did want to ask you. And what that is, do you have any quick recipes for us? Yeah, I would just say if you pack your kids lunch for school, if you take a lunch, you know, to your office, just try to think about taking stuff that you don't have wrappers to throw away. Can you buy in bulk and then put it in little containers that you bring? Can you bring, you know, your regular silverware from your house and just bring it home, you know, to wash? So just thinking of little things that maybe you can switch out every day in your lunch you know, that is creating less waste and just try to do it one thing at a time. That's a really good idea. Can people follow you anywhere where, you know, you might post some of the things you're doing on like social media or anything? Yeah, PRC has um, uh, most of the social media. We got Instagram, we have Facebook, we have Twitter. If you just look for PA Resources Council, you'll be able to find us um, and we'd love to have you follow us and learn more about what we do. All right, Sarah, thank you. Have a green new year.